This is a tough place. I've seen over the years, this job eats guys up, but you thrive on it. Why? Why would you say that? My secretary found me in the fetal position under the desk <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> you can do one more game. <laughs> uh, it, it, by the way, it was John Cheney's birthday a couple days ago. I and he and I tweet. talked, and he was giving me suggestions about the game, which he's always done, and it's uh, so happy. He said he heard from almost all of his players. That's what this is about. Um, so that was kind of neat. But before, don't go on the court. <laughs> player. <laughs> Bad look for you. <laughs> tertiary. Does anybody know what tertiary means? <laughs> hey, those corduroy shorts you wear, that's a bad oh, look for you. No. <laughs> no. Hey, it's University of Kentucky. They are well versed in the, in the intricacies of vocabulary. They know tertiary. Yeah, who, no, not one person raised their hand. <laughs> I had to go ask somebody in the back, what is that? Jay Billistics, he's in, back in law school. <laughs> You know, John, we were doing, I was doing some research. The fact that you guys have either won the SEC championship regular season or the tournament seven out of the past 10 years. How do you always get a team to focus and then revamp so quickly with the turnover ratio? First of all, you have great kids who trust what you're doing. And let me say this, and so do their families. If you think you're just coaching, and, and again, the families here know I will never talk basketball with you. I'll say hello, I'll give you a hug, we'll talk academics, how your kid's doing socially, but don't talk to me, because if I talk to you, I gotta talk to every family, so I don't. But they trust me with their child and our staff, and they trust the process, even though it's ugly early, and all of a sudden, it kind of turns out. I've had families mad. I, I tell the story, Carl Towns' mother, Miss Jack, who I love, was so mad at South Carolina. Her face was red, her eyes were bugging out. I had to go give her a kiss, say, it's going to be fine. Uh, Jamal Murray's dad, mad, when we went to Kansas, so mad he couldn't see straight. He's, we, it's a process and it's really hard, uh, but we got great kids and they're working together and trying. You got into the SEC play, you handed the ball to Ashton Haggins. What was behind that? Well, it wasn't then. It's it kind of like Shea Alexander, where it took us 10 games to really say, all right, we know it now. And you ask me, your team comes together. If you think I absolutely know all these kids, I don't until the game starts. And then all of a sudden, you put a kid in the game and you go, did you see that? And it was with Shea that way, and now it's been with Ashton. Two different players, two different kinds of players. Um, but he has kind of made the game easier for everybody around him. What do you think is the most important thing for your team as you head toward the NCAA <laughs> tournament? If you could say one thing we have to do to be the best team we can be, what would it be? Consistency, and we got to get to where we can play for 40 minutes. What this team does is we'll do, we'll look in spurts like, oh my gosh. And then two or three guys disengage, don't compete, think that one basket doesn't matter, and all of a sudden they're on a 10-0 run on us, and it's a ball game. We, we had them down 18. It's like four. How did this happen? And if you go back, it's usually self-inflicted, plus we were talking teams make shots against us, half-court shots. They make shots against us. They may not make all year, so you can't give them that opportunity. Who? Do you know who, we've been doing some trivia, there's been some trivia cycling through on the screen throughout the show. During your time at Kentucky, do you know who's averaged the most points per game for you in a season? Well, it had to be either Brandon Knight, Mal maybe Malik, no? I don't think Malik, no. Or it had to be John Wall. How about Jamal Murray? Oh, that's what I was going wow. He couldn't shoot. No. <laughs> now look what he does at Denver. You know what I say too, Kyle? It, it's amazing watching this team when you watch Ashton Higgins grab somebody or P.J. Washington, like, you know, P.J. Washington is the most physical player there is in the country. There's I nobody want, can stop P.J. I want him PJ. to be the best player in the country, but you got to bring it on every possession, and when you're tired, sub, and then tell me, I'm ready to go back, coach. I left him out six minutes, not because of his choice. <laughs> it was my choice. And he went back in. Where is that? Be that guy. But then you got to live up to it every game. That's what the hard thing is. You know, you asked me about coaching these guys. Most of them, like Jamal, always had the ball in his hands. We had to teach them play without the ball. Mm -hmm. 
Learn how to do it with, away from the ball. It's not going to take away from your playmaking ability, but it adds one more thing to what you can do as a player. It's always a treat for us to come here. Did you, did you bring gifts or treats? Do you have something for oh. you guys? Yeah. You got anything? Oh. oh. No, you didn't. Oh. Yes. oh. Look at this. I mean, I'm not going to turn it down. This is I the way the world's no, supposed turn to it be. Down. I feel good. <laughs> thank you, buddy. Thank, good luck hey, tonight and, against and let Kansas. Me, let, me, let me thank all the fans for being here. Yep. Thanks, guys. Can you take a break while I eat this ice cream? <laughs> <laughs>